channel 2020 is finally coming to an end and i think we've all been waiting for this unfortunately if you live in one of the areas that has been put into tier four right before the new year just like we have then you know it's, it's a bit of a crap start to the year however i'm sure we can get through it this isn't going to impact the goals that i'm going to set myself for 2021 and it shouldn't impact the goals that you're going to set yourself as well so with this in mind i want to take you guys on my journey of creating a vision board as i feel like like it's better than just kind of writing the list down if you've got something that you can visually see every single day to remind yourself what you are working towards you are way more likely to actually achieve it so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to grab a canvas right here I'm going to pop all my pictures of the things that I want to achieve in 2021 I'm going to pop them all on here so I can visually see them and then I'm going to hang this right here just so it's visible every single day while I'm working away in my office as that's where I am at the minute. I'd love to hear what your 2021 goals are so please pop them in the comment section down below and without further ado let's jump right into the video. <laughs> scissors that I actually got for Christmas wow um so yeah I'm going to cut these all out and then I'm going to pop them on my canvas and we can chat through what my goals actually are for 2021 <music> Thank you. 
draft and I'm just going to stick them all down using some double sided tape and then we'll jump in and just talk about what I've put on here. To some of the things that I actually want to achieve next year. So I want to finally purchase the car that I've always wanted, which is the green Mark II Focus RS. That is one of my biggest goals for the year, just because I've wanted one for such a long time. And my current car is actually up for renewal anyways. So I thought perfect time to actually get something that I've always wanted. So that's the main thing. Now, one of the, the main, main things, uh, I want to achieve 1000 subscribers by the end of 2021. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much because you know, you are a part of this journey and if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be doing this so thank you so much for all the support so far and I really really hope that more of you can join me on this journey to reaching 1000 subscribers. Now my income goal for the year is £50,000 so that's why I've wrote myself a cheque just so I can see it visually but that's ultimately the goal, the income goal for the year is £50,000. Some self development books over here that I want to read and really I don't know like I just I need to read them. These are just a few, I mean I've al already got a pile of books um, that I need to get through but these are some of the ones that I want to add to that list. Now in terms of personal development I actually want to achieve my level 4 diploma in regulated financial advice so I'm currently one exam away which I've actually already booked so I'm hoping that after this exam I'll be able to say that I am level 4 qualified as well as that once I've done this exam I do want to progress further in the mortgage field so I want to do the CMAP diploma so I do already have a level 3 CMAP however I feel like the level 4 CMAP diploma takes you that a little bit further I'm always happy to increase my knowledge further and make sure that, that as an advisor I can provide people with the right information at all times and the right advice at all times. So with that comes the fact that I would ideally like to become an advisor. That's one of my goals. However, the reason why I've not put it on here specifically is because it's a little bit out of my control. There's only certain things that I can control in that process. However, it's up to an external company to help me achieve my competent advisor status. Therefore, I'm gonna do everything in my power to get there. However, I am relying on a third party. If I don't achieve it, it's not necessarily because I've not done everything I could, it's because it's relying on someone else. Now, some of the other things that I've included on here are some holidays. Um, so this particular one is Mauritius. We've got some health and fitness goals. So I wanna, not really, it's not really anything to do with aesthetics this year. It's more to do with strength and we're just feeling fitter and healthier because Christmas has been ridiculous. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, you can probably tell, but um, 
yeah, everything's gone out the window. <laughs> so it's definitely time to get back on track and eat healthy again. So I've kind of got little reminders on there that, you know, I love healthy food <laughs> and exercise, you know, is, is needed. I've actually watched a video this morning saying how exercise can actually make you smarter. So, you know, I'll take that. Um, so those are the ones. There's also a little bit of interior inspo here. Now, the reason for that primarily is because I'm actually looking to uh, create a brand new beauty room so I do currently have one next door however I do want a separate one but more on that hopefully further down the line so yeah just a little bit of inspo there it, you know it's not going to look like this but just something to work towards and lastly I just want to quickly mention that £20 note there. Now, the reason I've stuck an actual £20 note is basically to remind myself that, you know, money is around me all the time and it, there's going to be a constant flow of money in my life that I don't have to worry about money anymore. And that kind of symbolises that in a way because, you know, a lot of people will be scared just to stick a £20 note thinking that's a lot of money, which it is. However, I want to prove to myself that I can look at this and know that there's more coming in so it's all good it's all good it's there for a reason um, and other than that I've just put little words of encouragement on here so I've got wealth grow believe knowledge and happiness so those are the main things that I basically want to achieve during the year you know I want to get wealthier I want to grow as a person and I want to grow my businesses I want to gain knowledge both about my mental health as well as business knowledge ultimately I, need, I know I need to believe in myself so I want to make sure that I believe not only in myself but also in the process and ultimately happiness everybody wants to be happy and that is the ultimate goal is to be happy and as well as that I want to give to charity it's not something that I've done on a regular basis before however 2021 is the start of me giving on a regular basis so that is it for the vision board now I want to keep you guys updated throughout 2021 as to how I'm doing on actually achieving all those things so I would highly recommend subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss out any updates on this as well as that I do want to involve you guys on my journey to you know financial freedom and ultimately to becoming a millionaire by the time I'm 30 so the first goal as you've seen is income of £50,000 which is double what I used to normally earn in full-time employment so I'll take you guys on that journey with me. I'll do monthly updates on kind of my budget, which will include my income on the monthly basis. So fully transparent. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope it gives you some ideas if you are also looking to achieve financial freedom. So with that being said, guys, if you like this video, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back on Monday with a brand new video. Bye guys.